So today we're going to be talking about Accurate's mill power control for milling applications. Uh, we have packages for knee mills, bed mills. Uh, in the knee mill configuration, we supply a complete retrofit package that consists of the ball screws, motor mount castings, motor drive assemblies, linear feedback, heen wheels, um, a Z-axis configuration the control console itself. And for bed mills, it's more of an electronics package where the machine itself has ball screws already built into the bed mill. And we're supplying the motors, drives, linear feedback as an option, a remote hand wheel, and the control console itself. Today, we'll go through a quick overview of Accurate's mill power control here. And just to give you an overview of the console, um, this is what we call the DRO display and at the top here we have a status bar where we indicate whether the drives are on or off, what the current feed rate is that you're running at, your tool information, what datum number you're on or using. The scaling is a multiplier for shrinkage or expansion of material. Skewing is an angle that can be put in to offset the angle of your vise or fixture and then whether you're programmed in inch or metric. We display estimated machining time, parts clock, parts counter, job clock, and time of day. Of course, this is the DRO display. We're showing digits here in absolute mode, but we can obviously toggle between absolute and incremental at any time. And then over here, we would display a program listing if you actually had a program loaded in the DRO mode. Down here is the soft keys that correspond to these function keys down here at the bottom of the control. And just above the row of soft key is where we would display messages or operator intervention uh, messages. As far as the keypad goes, these yellow keys here are what we call the can cycles. So your tools, uh, rectangular milling things, circular things, holes, positions, lines, arcs, and blends. Obviously toggling between absolute incremental, uh, your DRO program uh, toggle. View allows you to view different perspectives of the program, navigate around the view mode. This is a hot key that you can map any of the can cycles to. Uh, info is a built-in help or manual, inch millimeter, setup, calculator, four function calculator, geometry calculator, trig calculator, your numeric keypad, cancel uh, is like an escape key on a computer keyboard, get you out of something that you're in that you don't wanna be in. Uh, clear key clears something out in that you have open in a form that you don't want. The use key, if you've completed all the information in a form and you want to use that as part of the program. The enter key is entering data within that form. These navigation keys here are arrows to move the, the table around or jog the table around. Also can uh, navigate you through a, a form that you have open and then your stop and go keys. We have the feed rate override for your spindle speed override and also your table feed override here. Table stop button. On the front of the control, there's a USB port for saving and storing or loading programs. And then also there's an additional USB port on the back of the control that you could hook a USB hub up to and then connect uh, external mouse or USB keyboard.